All right, so today we're gonna go over what I feel is the absolute best overall leg exercise you can do, and that's the Jefferson. Now, if you've never done it before, this video is gonna help you out a ton. If you have, you're gonna to wanna to watch this till the end because there's a lot of different tweaks. A lot of things can go wrong with this exercise. So even if you think you're doing them right, sometimes you're not. Your back could be rolling, your knees could be tucking in. I'll show you ways to fix that. And if you get this right, not only will it help your leg development overall, but it's gonna help your squat form. It does so many things for you. That's why this is such a great exercise because it opens up your hips. If you've ever noticed, if you're doing squats, you go down, you feel like you're getting stuck. A lot of that is just tightness in your hips. These, this exercise specifically will fix that. So let's get after it. Warm ups are key on this exercise because it's not the weight that gets you. It's the actual form and it's the tightness in your hips, it's your IT bands, everything that you're working against to start. Once you get it warmed up, it feels great, but at first you're gonna feel like your knees wanna tuck in, your back wants to roll forward, and that's the exact opposite of what you should do. Your back should be nice and straight. You should feel like you're sitting into your hips at the bottom, you can drive from your hips, almost feel like you're squeezing your feet together as you pull yourself up and you're driving out with those knees. If you feel like your knees are tucking in or you're bending forward and you're driving with your quads, you're doing it wrong. So you know you're on the right track when the bar is directly underneath you, it's in between both those legs, you're staying nice and tall, and you can really feel that squeeze at the bottom as you're coming through. The one thing I do that might be a little OCD is that I do a set on each side and I count that as one set total, right? So I'll do a set of 15 on this side, this foot will be facing this wall, this one will be facing the mirror, 15 reps, switch it around, this foot's at the wall, this one's at the opposite wall over there, 15 reps, and that is in, in total one set, right? Now the one thing you're gonna watch for is how your feet are set up. So what you wanna do is have your feet far enough apart where you can get a nice and deep squat, knees can be forced out, but I wanna make sure those heels are equidistant away, right? So you draw an imaginary line and it's a V that connects and they're just as far apart as each other. You don't have one that's too far back or one that's tucked in. If you keep them the equidistance apart, you'll be able to force those knees out and it'll feel like you're doing a belt squat, but 10 times better. Again, as you're going down, fight that urge to let that knee dip in. What you wanna do is make sure you drive that knee out the whole time, keep all that pressure pushing out, and that's gonna work like an active stretch. You're gonna push against your IT bands, sort of loosen up those hips more and more as you go, and really open everything up for you. All right, so once you have your feet set, the next thing is grabbing the bar. So that open side will take an open grip, that back hand, which is gonna be the back towards the dominant leg, that's gonna be a closed grip. The first couple reps, don't go down that far. If you try to do a full rep, you're gonna tilt your back forward, you're gonna collapse those knees. So the only thing you're focused on those first couple reps, knees pushing out, back staying straight. You won't get down that far. I mean, I'll get stuck right there, come back up. So one set of that, and just slowly try to push it lower and lower without losing the form. That's the biggest thing. Make sure those feet stay set the whole time, knees pushed out, keep that back nice and straight, and slowly work on depth little by little. All right, so only when you feel comfortable, only when you feel like you have some power in those legs now, right? Not where you're just trying to fight all those impingements, but you feel warmed up, everything feels nice and greased up, you feel good, put a little weight on there. And not a lot of weight. This is not something you ever go over, I've never gone over 95 pounds. One, because I wanna be able to stretch lower, so quarters are short enough where I can get a little deeper stretch, but two, this is such a hard movement to keep that form tight, it really doesn't take much weight to really overload the muscle. So you'll see, if you even get to 95s, it's kind of crazy heavy. I'd probably do 10 reps and just drop it, turn to the other side and be done with it, right? I would say at the most, you're starting with 10s on there, fives, maybe even a couple sets of the bar. That might be enough for you the first time. So take this, get after it, throw this in your routine. I guarantee if done correctly, if you tweak your form along the way and you really fix it and you get it right, you'll get such development out of this, it's not even funny. So get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, almost forgot. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. I try to come with a video like every other day as much as possible. So get after it. Talk to you soon.